ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار brothers and sisters in islam the relationship between a muslim and another muslim is beyond the boundaries of the place where you live if you truly possess just the essence of faith even if you live in america you must feel for your muslim brother in syria in egypt in burma in pakistan afghanistan in abyssinia in somal endless list now every day the paper boy brings one more country to the list the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam kama fi sahihain min hadith ubada min hadith an-nu'man ibn bashir radiyallahu anhuma given the similitude of feeling for one another is like being one body and if the nail aches the heart the king will also experience the aching qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mathal al mu'minina fi tawaddihim وتراحمهم وتعاطفهم كمثل الجسد الواحد اذا اشتكى منه عضو تداعى له سائر الجسد بالسهر والحمى it's heartbreaking when it used to be in the past that non-muslims are killing muslims yani the least you can say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah la taqata lana al-yawma bi jaluta wa junudi 
But now, Muslims are killing Muslims. Uh, I heard my family having a conversation over the sky just before coming here. Just before coming here. This is fresh. So she's talking to an Egyptian lady and she's expressing her sorrow. Somebody she used to be friends with. So she's saying, I'm really feeling bad about the killing of so many people in Egypt. You know what she said? Are you Ikhwan? Wallahi, I heard it in my way out. Are you from Al Ikhwan? Uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Abi Musa al-Ash'ari narrates Al-Hadith fi Sahih al-Imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim Abu, Abu Musa says Haddathana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam An al-Harj Before the Qabla qiyam al-Sa'a the Prophet وسلم, spoke to us about something called the Harj before the coming of the hour. Qulna ma al Harj ya Rasulullah. What is al Harj ya Rasulullah? Qal al Kathibu wa al Qatl. Shuf. Lying and killing. Innak you manage to justify the killing of another Muslim to a Muslim. Uh, something that, as I'm walking here, I really reflect upon too. The Pharaoh, when Musa alayhi salam challenged him, he made that statement. You know what he said? وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ ذَرُونِي أَقْتُ الْمُوسَى let me kill Musa. But the Pharaoh is needing a permission from his people to kill Musa. La. He's telling his people to pave the way to kill Musa. Or the media. So that when he is killed. Are you from Al-Ikhwan? He doesn't need the permission. He's a Pharaoh. He can kill Musa tomorrow. La, but if I kill him. The people are going to stand up, pave the way for me. In Sahih Imam Muslim, Hadith Abi Huraira, Radiallahu An, Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Walladhi nafsi biyadi, by the one in whose hand the soul, my soul is. لا تقوم الساعة. The hour will never come. حتى لا يدري القاتل لما قتل والمقتول فيما قتل. By the one in whose hand my soul is, the hour will not come until this happens. The killer doesn't know why he is killing. Why he is killing? And the killed doesn't know why he was killed. Uh, in Egypt now, if you have a beard, if you wear the niqab, it's not the time to talk about the ruling of the beard, the ruling of the niqab. That's beside the point. But, هذا سمت الإسلام. When you're seen with those two, you're a Muslim, no question. But beside you're a Muslim, you're a terrorist in Egypt. Islamophobia, but you know, I have to pay respect to this country. Yeah, they do have Islamophobia, but govern Islamophobia. You can hire a lawyer, you can sue the system here and get your right. Over there, you're done. Nothing that governs, no rules. Uh, Abdullah ibn Zubair, when Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi 
work the Islamophobia machine, uh, you know, it's a sign of hypocrisy that when you have animosity with somebody that you demonize them. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Ayatul Munafiq, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, اللهم أربع من كنا فيه one of them وإذا خاصم فجر a sign of hypocrisy that when you have animosity and hate towards somebody you reach the extreme you don't just take your right and stop لا demonizing ف look عبد الله بن الزبير just to show you you know who's Abdullah ibn Zubair? Awwal mawlood fi al-Islam. Hada laqabuhu. The first baby born in the Muslim state. In Medina, yaan. His mother is Asma bintu Abi Bakr. Thatu al-nitaqayn. The women with the two uh, waste collar the uh, Arab women used to wear something about their waist and the Bukhari the first woman to take that was Hajar So when Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abu Bakr al-Siddiq were in the cave hiding for three nights to migrate to Medina, Asma, she was eight months pregnant. She used to walk from Mecca to the cave, climbing the mountain to bring eatables, food and drink to the messenger and her father. So one day she did not have something to close the eatable with, the bag. So she took out her mintaq, tore it, put one back and shut the other one with the, uh, the, 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 the bag with the other one. Shuf al-Hajjaj convinced the people that this is a mark, a scar of shame. So the people used to say to Abdullah ibn Zubayr, Ya ibn that in nitaqayn. Shuf Islamophobia. Your mother, shame on you. Your mother is the one with the two collar waist or waist collar. This is bad, yani. This is. Right. Ya Bulehya, you have a beard. Shame on you. Shame, you have a beard. Shame on you, sister, you have a niqab. Shame. Islamophobia. Well, listen, I'm not saying every person who has a beard is Mr. Perfect. Ana la tahadath an afrad. Ana bukul hada samt islami. This is the look of a Muslim. You know what Abdullah ibn Zubair used to say to them after he actually asked his mother, what is the story of the thing that they are disgracing me with? She told, she told him the story. Later on, he used to tell to them, Tilka shakatun zahirun anka aibuha. <laughs> Go ahead and say more. Say, I'm a beard. I'm a guy with a beard. Say it. I love it. Ana Wahhabi. If Wahhabi means that having a good aqidah, Ana Wahhabi. Go ahead. الرجل اللي بيحب امرأة شوف شوف somebody who is so in love with a woman. He loves her so much. يعني normally when you're in love with a woman as a man يعني عشان in order for the people not to say about you that Ah oh man, he's a woman guy. You know, woman guy is not something that you should. That's why you should hide a little bit. Shuf, shuf, because he loves the woman. You know, 
وهان علي شوف اسمع كلامه لسن وقت وهان علي اللوم في جنب حبها وقول الاعادي اني لخليع اصم اذا نديت باسمي واذا قيل لي يا عبدها اني لسميع شايف اه واحد بيحب امراه شوف اي دونت كير ليس That they say about me, I'm a woman guy. You know what? I love her so much. To the extent that, that when they say my name, they call upon me using my name, I don't hear. But when they call me saying, oh, slave of the woman, yes, sir. Nafs al I have a beard. Go ahead. Wa sa'alamu alladheena zalamu. أي منقلب ينقلبون والله يا إخوة الأمر في غصة قلب كاري نوان وذ 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 الحجاج عن عبد الله بن الزبير الحجاج is a very interesting character يعني the bottom line هناك من أخرجه من الملة. There are some who said that they are he is not a Muslim because of the number of people he killed, hundreds of thousands. وقتل صحاب منهم عبد الله بن الزبير الحجاج بن يوسف الثقفي. ولكن I'm not here to judge the حجاج. إنه أفضى إلى ربي. Allah will take care of him. بس يعني للأمانة العلمية الإمام الذهبي له مقولة عن الإمام الذهبي في سير علام النبلاء he said something a statement about له حسنات مغمورة في بحار سيئاته he has some hidden good deeds in the ocean of his sins look look the expression if you if you if you understand it يعني he has some حسنات هو مسلم كان بيقول لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول قتل He killed Abdullah ibn Zubair. Like I said, Abdullah ibn Zubair, his mother was pregnant in him, and when she migrated as ma to Medina, the Muhajirin had some issue with 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 giving babies, with giving birth. The 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 a lot of the the for for a year or so or less than that, they 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 had an issue. For Abdullah. Brought joy to the Muhajirin that finally someone from the Muhajirin delivered the baby. Asma brought him to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hanaka, Hanaka, and he chose some dates and he placed it in his. What is Sunnah? Wasma, Abdullah. Nabi is the one who named him. O Aisha. خالته his aunt or because Aisha she did not have children كانوا يكنوها يا أم عبد الله because of of عبد الله عبد الله بن الزبير شوف just the status يا أم عبد الله because of عبد الله بن الزبير شوف الحجاج بن يوسف الثقة في يوسف سيف شر البرية The worst of mankind, and he killed him. He put him on, I wouldn't say a cross, but a piece of wood. Mutilated his body for the people to stop by and look at him. And he used to say, after three days, I'll take him down, and I will bury him in the graveyard of the Christians and the Jews. What can? وفعلا دفنه شوف جاست جاست تو شو يو يو سي ذير ووز ا كونفليكت عبد الله بن الزبير ثوت ذات هي وود ستاند فور ذا هيز رايت ان الحجاج فوت ذي فوت ون انذر فوت بوليتيكال كونفليكت اي دونت ونت جيت ان تو واي ان واي ذيس ووز ان مكه Abdullah ibn Umar, just to show you who Abdullah ibn Zubair is, 
for al Hajjaj to create that slim of Islamophobia about him, Shuf, when he was in that wood, piece of wood, Abdullah ibn Umar passed by him. You know who's Abdullah ibn Umar, right? Umar ibn Khattab, the son of Umar. He passed by Abdullah ibn Zubair when he was. Look. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Khubayb. All of this, ya ikhwa, is taken from a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, wa Muslim, wa Mustadrak al-Hakim. Wahb ibn Kaysan is the narrator. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Khubayb. This Abdullah ibn Zubair when he was, yani, majazan crucified. Putin. Three times. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Khubayb. Shuf. Ala inni kuntu anhaka an dhalik. Ra'i ibn Umar. I used to tell you not to do this. Just let go. Mahawa ya ikhwa, I would like to get your attention to something. Is siyasa shara'iyya. Issue of politics in Islam, there is no black and white. There is no, it's all gray. Siyasa shara'iyya. There is no, it is built or contingent upon assessing al-masalih wal-mafasid. What is good, what is bad. And this can change by the minute. Some of us, they, they, when, when you see a scholar saying this today and tomorrow he says something else, oh, shayf, غير. لا يا أخي هي السياسة الشرعية هكذا اجتهاد every day you have a different perspective وكثير من العلماء الآن a lot of the scholars in the Muslim world they lost their status in the hearts of their students because their students do not realize why they change they don't have Oh, Abdullah ibn Umar is saying to Abdullah ibn Zubair, I used to tell you not to do this, just let go. But in spite of this, look what he's going to say. Wallahi, by Allah, laqad alimtuka sawwaman, qawwaman, wasoolan lirrahim, la ummatun anta sharruha, la hiya khayru al-umman. By Allah, I knew you fasting. Mondays, Thursdays, whatever it is. Qawwaman, you pray tahajjud every night. Wasoolan lirrahim. You have a good relationship with your kids. An ummah. Mahawul Hajjaj ibn Yusuf used to say about him what? The worst of the ummah. The ummah that you're the worst of it, that means the rest of the ummah are angels. If you are the worst, that means the rest are angels. La umma, anta sharruha, ma islamophobia. Media, sihr, sihr. Wallahi, I have never understood samma'oona lil-kadib, akkaloona lil-suhd. Why is Allah, why does Allah say, blaming them for hearing lies? <laughs> as long as you don't lie, what is up? La. You hear the lies is a sin. Samma'oona lil kadib. Samma. When you hear lies, it gets to you. Wa inna al udun la tazni. Wa zinaha samma. Your ears, ears commit adultery. Why? By allowing the ear to hear. So when you hear the Islamophobia, when you keep watching Fox News, when you keep watching all these channels in Egypt, you're going to be convinced that these Ikhwan people are not Muslims. Go ahead and kill them. Not only this, I'm talking about Egypt. Three days ago, 2,000 Muslims, the majority of them are children and women in Syria. Chemical women made by the West. The West who raises a fit 
if a dog is abused a dog if you abuse a dog I heard the other day that a football player went to jail or something I'm not sure what but I heard that I saw it somewhere because he didn't smile back at the dog I guess as far as I remember children you seen these babies laying down suffocated Burma Islamophobia again, it's okay, Muslims are, <laughs> it's okay. Tabreed. When Al Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al Thaqafi killed Abdullah ibn Zubayr, he sent to Asma. He sent to Asma. Asma was in Mecca. وعميت أسماء أسماء يا إخوة أسماء the sister of عائشة half sister of عائشة she lived more than hundred years and towards the end of her life she lost her sight. فهي sent to her in order what to joy to يغتبط يعني in order to show his boastful he's boastful I killed your son ومصيبة هذه قتل الولد يعني سبحان الله if, if there is a great calamity that you can go through is to lose your own child if you list the calamities poverty, hunger, thirst the top of the line is that your child dies while you're alive ولذلك ابن لعبدي بيتا في الجنة وسموه بيت الحمد if he accepts that الرضا بالقدر and he says, Alhamdulillah. If you accept this, shuf, shuf, shuf. he killed her son and he wants to beckon her, ridicule her, make fun out of her. So he sent to her, and it tini, come to me. When the messenger arrived, Pilate, Wallahi la ati. By Allah, I'm not coming to him. Asma. Zubair, her husband. Abu Bakr is her father. And to mean, into 55 after Hijrah, you existed. Wallahi la ati. He's the Amir. He's the guy with the power. He's the guy with the media. He's the guy with all these liars. The sorcery of the time, the media. Wallahi la ati. So the messenger came. Al Hajjaj, when he heard that she is refusing to come to him, Idhab ilayha. Go to her and let her know. Idlam ta'ati. Wallahi la ab'athanna man yajurruha min qurooniha. Shaif. If she doesn't come to me, by Allah, I will send somebody to drag her by her hair to me. So the messenger went back to Asma. You know what Asma said? Wallahi la ati wal ya'tini biman yajurruni min quruni. By Allah, I'm not coming to him. And let him come or bring somebody to drag me from my hair, by my hair. When the messenger came back, ghadib, he became so upset. Waqala li ghulami, he said to his man, Bring me my shoes. And he went running on fire. And he arrived at Asma. Listen to this. And then he asked her this question. Did you see what I did to the enemy of Allah? Shaykh Abdullah ibn Zubair. Wallahi ya ikhwa. She said something, a statement, four words, five words. We'll count them now. To be written with ink made out of gold. You know what she said? Ra'ayt. Ra'aytuka afsadta alayhi dunya. Wa afsad alayka akhiratak. 
Yes, I saw. You made him lose his life, but you will lose your akhirah because of him. شايف كلام شايف العقل انت افرح joy be happy for killing some muslims يا حبيبي يا الانسان يعني سبحان الله اذا صدقت نواياه والله يا اخوة دعاء ابن عباس is saying that I used to wonder why عمر is making this dua Umar used to make this dua when he finished his hajj the last hajj two months before he was killed راح بالبطيح كده مكان a place after Muna after he left Mecca يعني ايه farewell tawaf and ايه he sat in the ground and he raised his hand like this of course he shouldn't do this in the pulpit وقال and he said اللهم كبر سني oh Allah I became old واتسعت رعيتي my responsibilities are too much now because my رعية is all the way Russia, Egypt, Algeria, Tunisia وضعفت قوتي I don't have the power that I used to have before. I'm getting old. فتوفني إليك غير مفرط يا رب. I wanna die before I waste what you entrusted me with. I don't wanna live because I can't handle my responsibilities. شو بعد دعاء ولا كي؟ وتوفني شهيدا في بلد نبيك. And I wanna die as a martyr in the town of your messenger. دعاء عجيب غريب ازاي هاو for you to die as a martyr you must go to the uh, مع الجيوش with the army and fight لكن in the town of the messenger you wanna die as a شهيد uh, a very weird combination شوف صدق النية صدق النية صدق الله فصدق being truthful he, he got it مات شهيد في بلد النبي. He was stabbed while he's leading the salah. صادق. Truthful. He meant business. He was not faking it. He was not faking it. قتل. شهيد. يعني أنت what are you gonna do to a person who has a good intention? The end you saved him from life in the grave. الشهيد the martyr is the only one who doesn't go through حياة البرزخ the life in the grave straight from this دنيا to جنة هو أنت ليه why do you why do you الشهيد when when عبد الله بن حرام لما سأل رب العالمين when Allah asked him تمنى عليه make a wish يا رب to go back to the دنيا and to be killed again and come back. To go back and be killed again, come back. To be, why? Why? Imagine, close your eyes. Dunya, I love you all for the sake of Allah. But you know what? Open your eyes. Jannah. From here to Jannah. Close your eyes. We are not sure. The shaheed, the mark doesn't feel the, the, the pain. It's like the first touch. After that, ولا شيء. ويرى مقعده في الجنة the moment that he sees his blood. فأفسدت عليه دنيا. You messed up his دنيا. But he أعطيت. ولذلك العلماء يا إخوة the scholars of tafsir they said why did Allah name Yahya? You see when Zakaria asked for a son? Huh? I'm sorry I'm taking you right and left, but I'll come back to my point. You know when Zakaria asked for a son? Allah eh? Inna nuwashuruka bi gulam in ismuhu. Why Yahya? Yahya? Yahya died at the age of 22, 23. Oh eh? His head was shot for a prostitute. 
A woman was sitting with the Roman Empire said, if you want to sleep with me, I'm sorry, sisters, if you want to sleep with me, bring me the head of Yahya in a plate. Sure. Oh. Why did Allah call him Yahya? To live. Because he's will, he will die as what? <laughs> because he will never die. هو سيعيش حيخرج من الدنيا ليعيش سميته يحيى ليحيى فاسماء ستيلينج هيم يو ماست اب هيز لايف بات اف هي هاد ا جود انتنشن طبعا نحن لا نقضي بأح لسن من عقيدتنا وي ونت استابلش ذس اياك دير يو سي تو ذات بيرسون يو ار مارتر و ذات بيرسون تو ذات شهيد و ذات شهيد من عقيدتنا الا نقطع لاحد بجنه ولا بنار ولا بشهاد فروم اور كريد ذات وي دو نوت ايدنتيفاي ا سيرتن بيرسون سي ذات ذس از الشهيد نحسبه كذلك خلاص من عقيدتنا بات وي نو فور ا فاكت اف يو هاف ذا رايت انتنشن تنال الشهادة فأفسدت عليه دنيا يمستب هز دنيا بط يمستب يور آخرة آخرة شوف والله never in the Quran never in the Quran شوف هذه الآية وما كان لمؤمن أن يقتل مؤمنا إلا خطأ The only time that a believer or a Muslim kills another, another Muslim but by accident. وَمَا كَانْ شوف النف وَمَا كَانْ Impossible Impossible that you find a believer killing another believer but by mistake. You're driving your car. Oh, hey, look at this now. The killed, the killed may be the one who caused the accident. But yet the killer has to do a ransom. شوف لعظم لعظم الدم عظم الدم the greatness of bloodshed and this applies to non-Muslims who are not combatant like Americans they are not combatants with us here that applies whatever I'm going to say applies to them عظم وما كان لمؤمن أن يقتل مؤمنا إلا خطأ ومن قتل مؤمنا خطأ فتحرير رقبة المؤمنة ودية مسلمة إلى أهلي إلا أن يصدقوا فإن كان من قوم عدو لكم وهو مؤمن فتحرير رقبة المؤمنة الآية رانس he could be the one who caused the accident طيب look at the next verse ومن يقتل مؤمنا متعمدا And whoever kills a Muslim intentionally. فجزاؤه جهنم. This is one verse. His punishment is hellfire. خالدا فيها. He will stay there for eternity. وغضب الله عليه. The anger of Allah is upon him. This is just one verse. It's not over yet. ولا عنا. And the curse of Allah is upon him. وأعد له جهنم وأعد له عذابا عظيما five punishment in one verse ولذلك بص 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 فك عمر when عمر got stabbed in the bulbet عمر got stabbed in the bulbet you know one of the things that he asked ابن عباس كيم عبد الله ابن عباس while he's bleeding يا ابن عباس انظر من قتلني بليز جو فايند اوت هو كيلد مي هي ديدنت نو ات واز فجر ذا 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 ابو لؤلؤ المجوسي ستابت هيم اند هي ران اواي فعمر وانت تو فايند اوت هو كيلد هيم فابن عباس وينت اند دي فاوند ابو لؤلؤ هي كيم باك تو عمر اند هي سيت تو هيم غلام المغيره المغيرة بن شعبة is the one used to be the ruler in الكوفة. He is the one who brought him to مدينة. أبو لؤلؤة هذا is a كافر. He did not accept Islam. But he was a very skilled person. And the, the, the policy of Umar is to bring skilled people from non-Muslim countries, even if they are non-Muslims, to come to مدينة in order to teach the Muslims إيه؟ their knowledge. 
instead of sending our youth to, eh, to America to be uh, to Europe and America uh, to go through the fitna in order to bring the knowledge in. Shaif? Other way around. So when Umar learned that Abu Lulua is the killer, قال الصنع, the skilled, you know what Umar said? Look, Alhamdulillah, الذي لم يجعل ميتتي بيد رجل يدعي الإسلام. شايف؟ وفي رواية, Alhamdulillah, الذي لم يجعل ميتتي بيد رجل سجد لله سجدة واحدة. تمني السلام ل... you wanna die as a shaheed and you want another muslim to receive those five punishments لا. all praise be to Allah that I received the shahada at the hand of a disbeliever not a muslim شايف شايف ف اغتبط يا سيدي افرح افرح والله يا اخوة سؤل ابن عباس ابن عباس was asked هل القاتل توبة does the killer has a chance to repent حديث النسائي ينوط ابن عباس says ثكلته أم ثكلته أم يأتي المقتول the person who was killed in the dunya يحمل رأسه imagine this scene carrying his head on his right hand تشخب أوداجه دما the veins of his neck are pouring blood so this hand he's carrying his neck his veins are pouring blood يجر قاتله dragging his killer ثم يأتي لربه then he will come in front of Allah يا رب سل هذا فيما قتلني ask him why he killed me why he killed me ولذلك في حديث ابن عمر لا يزال المسلم في البخاري لا يزال المسلم في فسحة من ديني ما لم يصب دما حرام your chances to make it to Jannah are high. Your stakes to make it to Jannah are high. As long as you do not kill another person. Again, this applies to Muslims and non-Muslims who are not combatant. So those who are recording, please don't take this one away. ولذلك ابن عمر used to comment by saying, ابن عمر, just to say, وإن من ورطات الأمور لمن أوقع نفسه فيها. And one of the greatest messes that you can find yourself in, سفك الدم بغير حلم, that you kill another person. Big mess. Big mess. فا. أسماء استلين يا. You may have helped him to receive the shahada, but you know what? واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون. There is a day when we will stand in front of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and those who killed will be held accountable. Those who helped will be held accountable. Those who promoted will be held accountable. Those who justified will be hold, held accountable. Those who are happy, boastful. Oh, we killed some ikhwan. Well, ikhwan kafara, ya shaykh. Kalama. Wallahi, tasma' hada min al-Musriyin. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-Ali al-Azim. والله زمان عجيب عجيب قول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم
الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the Muslims. Nas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yahqin dima'a al-Muslimin. Allahumma haqin dima'a al-Muslimin fi kulli makan. Allahumma haqin dima'a al-Muslimin fi kulli makan. Allahumma haqin dima'a ikhwanina fi Suriya, fi bilad al-Sham, fi Misr, fi Burma, fi jami'a bilad al-Muslimin ya Rabbil Alameen. اللهم كل إخواننا عضدا ونصيرا ويدا اللهم إنهم عالة فاحملهم اللهم إنهم جياع فأطعمهم اللهم إنهم عراة فاكسهم اللهم انصرهم على من عاداهم اللهم وحد كلمتهم وألف بين قلوبهم وحد صفوفهم يا رب العالمين اللهم أعز الإسلام, وأعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين أنصر بفضلك الإسلام اللهم أنصر دينك يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا لا حول لنا ولا قوة لا نملك إلا الدعاء ندعو لإخواننا أن يرحمهم وأن يتقبلهم من الشهداء وأن يعفو عنهم وأن يشفي, يشفي جرحاهم ومرضاهم وأن, وأن ينزل السكينة في قلوب آبائهم وأمهاتهم الذين ابتلوا بهم يا رب العالمين أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم